Alright everyone, it is me, Judson Jet. Uh, I woke up pretty early today, 8 a.m., uh, but, you know, I went to bed early too, you know, I had a, had a fairly productive day yesterday, worked on, I worked on my game a little bit, uh, finalized the damage and armor types and, you know, refined the enemies and towers a little more, and then I think what I'm going to have is, you know, because I don't want the user interface to get too crazy, uh, you just simply build, uh, I mean, essentially laterally is the word I'm thinking of, right? So you have one tower, but you keep upgrading it, and then once you get to the final upgrade, luckily the guy who made this toolkit, you know, thought of this, then you can upgrade to the next tower, and that's how you get to that tower. And then that way, you know, it minimizes the UI, because I still want this game for mobile, because uh, I also looked at uh, advertising on Facebook. It is vastly superior uh, to Google Ads. It's actually, I think it's also slightly more expensive or slightly cheaper, but I'm willing to pay a little more for the convenience. Plus, Facebook's data mining is just, it's just so much better than Google's, even though Google does have access to your info too. Uh, but there's a reason why I'm seeing more people use Facebook ads rather than Google ads. So, you know, it's like uh, no empire lasts forever, right? So, uh, yeah, so we'll do that. Um, I don't know, it's like, it, it's going to be tough, so I, I may have to, like, when I do mobile, um, maybe I might have to maybe get an outsourcer to take my game and then just turn it into a mobile, but they don't change anything else. Uh, so, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll just have to see. Anyway, uh, so I didn't do any research, just, we're just going to go right into it. I was listening to Nick Fuentes and a bunch of other stuff, um, because, uh, you know, I just want to know what's going on. Uh, so it looks like the Republicans are going to reject... The Democrats three trillion dollar bill to refuse to give people 200 bucks a month. So it's actually really uh, it looks it just looks so bad for the Republicans So I guess maybe things will cancel out uh, If the Republicans are smart what they should have tried doing was we will give everybody thirteen hundred dollars So it's a hundred dollars more than everyone else and We're gonna make sure illegals don't get it. That's what the Republican Party should be doing but again the Republican Party lacks empathy and creativity and all that stuff. And then, <clears throat> yeah, and then people, like, uh, just wonder why the hell uh, does everyone hate us so much, right? I mean, you know, I mean, right now I consider Nick Fuentes, like, the greatest uh, of all the, I guess, right-wing leaders of the moment. Uh, and he didn't even think of that, right? You know, that's why you need someone like me. But, uh, oh, well, we all get what we deserve, so, you know, uh... Does it really bear as much, though? I, yeah, I mean, I think I think the Republicans will be able to get away with this one, but uh, they they really should not be handing the Democrat Party any free victories, right? Especially as the shit lib world view is collapsing on them. So, oh well, whatever. I mean, the Republican Party also played the infinite game, so I guess in the end, it's not going to matter anyway. But it's definitely going to matter a lot of people who are suffering, though. So. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week are still 26. Obviously, this data is going to be changing. It's def most definitely going to be changing. Um, so, you know, it's only in the middle of the week, technically, for Google. So we'll see. But, you know, obviously, this is very nice. Uh, Bitcoin down is 67.4%. No surprise. 24-hour volume, 158.4 billion. Uh, Bitcoin's kind of just... Uh, um, I don't know what... Like, this spark line is completely... I don't know what's wrong with this. It should be up and then flatlining. Oh, well. Anyway, it's at 95.55. We'll just ignore the spark lines on the right. Litecoin is 43.48. Pretty good. Um, no, not skyrocketing. Uh, but again, the fundamentals of the world are still kind of a problem, right? We still don't know what's actually happening. Uh, but considering all that uncertainty and crypto is still doing pretty well, yeah, I'll take it. It could be worse, right? It could just be plummeting, right? And so far, we haven't seen the sudden drop yet. Or maybe the sudden drop already occurred when it dropped like 8,200 or 8,300 and then shot back up to this price. So maybe we already had that. Because if you remember in the last bull run, Bitcoin and crypto were also flatlining, but they were slowly going up. You know, I got to be careful how I raise my arm, otherwise it's going to look like a Hitler salute. It was slowly going up, and then it took six to nine months for the bull, Bitcoin, uh, crypto bull run to just, you know, skyrocket. Oh, well, speaking of which, I was I was getting ready. I announced the four hundred four coin um, 
swap details and then like i had to go delete a bunch of fucking f-word retards and then i even see some people like how can i get rich i i, I just keep losing my money blah, blah, blah. And i have one idiot says this guy lost a lot of money in 808 coin it's like oh my god first of all i did not lose a lot i actually made a killing that's why i'm sitting here talking in front of you and so did everyone else like everyone knows what i did most people made money some didn't it's like there should be no one losing money off of that. The only exception to that is if you came in at the very end and then I and then I did the day video that said I have dumped all my 808 coin on the bad name project, Mr. Eggman, and the entire 808 community is just a bunch of you know F word idiots, right? You know, I was the one thing keeping it alive, and they decided to attack me. But they also attacked BTC Pop and everyone else. It's just like it's just you you fuck you, fu you, you fucking idiot, right? And they threw away an incredible income with an incredible, like, marketing whatever thing. So, oh, well. Uh, so, anyway, it's just a bunch of idiots here. I should delete these two idiots here, too, especially this guy. Because he used to say lots of nice shit about, you know, 808 and our coin. And, and then, like, and then he literally just did nothing. Like, he literally he did not watch my videos. Or worse, he watched my videos and then he ignored it, right? Well, I don't know about 404 when it was started. What do you mean you didn't know about it? You were following the whole time. And like I, I even said we're creating GMC and 404 coin and he didn't even do anything. It's like you fucking idiot. I, we even even at the, even when GMC coin started, it was 750%. So what is this fucking it's like you you fucking the, not you watching, but these fucking idiots that are just complaining. Like they, they do get what they deserve because they were fucking stupid. Like I told them long ago what to do, and you gotta do it. It doesn't take much, but and then what does this idiot wind up doing? I lost six hundred dollars at eight oh eight now. <sighs> it's like, yeah, God, it's it, it's so stupid. And, and then they kind of want to blame me for it. That, that's that's the thing that was really triggering and pissing me off. Anyway, you can just go to the Bitcoin talk or type in four oh four thread. Just read this thing. Uh, here are the specs. I don't want to go through it because I want this video to be short. I actually want to go play more payday too uh because i'm t i'm basically playing now so that when tarkov comes out with the next wipe and probably in another month or two or two. actually I, they had nikita hasn't even announced like he was supposed to announce the wipe but you know he's doing bug testing so all right so i guess it'll just come out later so which is fine because i don't really feel like playing tarkov right so anyway uh yeah so yeah you just take a look at it but basically uh once we have confirmation i mean i should be hearing from mitch anytime sometime today uh assuming there's nothing wrong and then well, i'm gonna go contact Crex, and then we'll have the thing so we're gonna do like a three week swap period most coins seem to do four or more i actually want the swap to be done with because it's a big hassle so i'm just gonna do three weeks uh if you can't access Crex and you don't know about uh the, uh, the trick about having a computer that's not on the band list access correct there'll be other exchanges hopefully they'll just do the swap for you and they'll just send it to cracks and you know so for example you have coins in btc pop they'll just do the swap for you and then it'll just change into the new coin so you don't actually do anything right just have your coins there so that, that's basically what we're looking at uh i'm gonna have to refresh this because two by two has been going up like crazy so uh hive <sighs> hive where's hive um, as we go down again hive is at 32.60 cents oh it's actually stopped going down for once steam is at 17.54 so the uh the centralized battable uh i don't know steam powered light coins they're actually going up a little bit so that's fine by me i'll take it all right let's see what's happening with this well did it load yes uh for profit college students share horror stories she looks pretty attractive i thought for a very quick second she was actually almost naked all right because it's got the same color as her skin i was like oh come on what are you doing yahoo and i realized oh okay she's just got a matching colored uh flesh colored shirt they probably did that on purpose too which i don't like because it's deceptive among other things oh good remel yeah remel didn't seem to take too much debt in fact Huh? I thought it was down a lot yesterday and it came up. All right. Hey, I'll take it. Retail sales plan record pace, of course. Uh, it's down a little bit. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Um, for profit. Yeah, so it does look like people are just adjusting fundamentals and the panic selling has not really occurred yet. 
Uh, retail sales pledge. See, here's the thing. Retail sales are already going to pledge at physical stores because Amazon's taking all the money anyway. But it would have happened anyway. The few, like, if you read the book, Everything Store, right? Jeff Bezos said, Amazon's not happening to everyone. The future is happening to everyone. And that's exactly what's happening here. So, uh, coronavirus and this whole shutdown shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nick Fuentes was actually bashing the shutdown finally. That was something I haven't heard in a while. He didn't bash it too much, but I also didn't finish because I had to do this video. So, I'm finally glad everybody's just, like, talking about this. But anyway, uh, this obviously accelerates the demise of retail. Now, that being said, we'll still have retail, right? I still want to be able to go to the store and pick up stuff because I don't want to use Amazon Fresh. That's actually very annoying to me. I actually, will, I actually like going out to the store, especially now during the shutdown, right? You know, so. Force you out what it takes. Fuck him. The real key to saving retirement now. He's pretty attractive, too. Ah, great. Blah, block lead and creator on giving Berkeley student. Oh, okay. Uh, good pods co founded and one launching during. Uh, what? You only need two SS money matter. Better than Bezos. Three stocks he beating Amazon. Uh, that's just stupid. Uh, Chad already put Apple. Are you just kind of an unreliable entity list? Uh, again, I'll move to blockchain and sending on Huawei Technologies. Global Times report Friday. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, don't really care. Well, that's actually good because that'll encourage these companies to come back and bring manufacturing back home to America, like they should be doing, right? I mean, but shit, even Tesla still has their shit in, in, in China. Uh, Apple, Cisco, Qualcomm, uh, Boeing, Airplanes, uh, People Daily. Yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, all, a lot of these companies. Well, I mean, except these, but it's really just Apple. Right, and then Boeing's a piece of shit too. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they're uh, well, they tell people what to do and say here in America, and they outsource all the jobs and they steal from American taxpayers. So yeah, fuck Boeing and fuck Apple. Not that it's gonna affect them much. In fact, when I go to Tune, uh, in fact, when I go to Tune Core, which actually seems that way, which seems a lot better than Identify. Um, because it does what Identify does, which is just not copyright strike, but claim the videos on YouTube and Instagram and whatever. But they can also list your music singles on all the other stores. So yeah, I'll do this. Of course, I don't see any white people on here. So well, there's a white guy. Uh, I think that's a white guy. Oh, okay, there we go. Tim and the Glory Boys. Yeah. So obviously this ends up, it, this site looks so much better than Identify site. So it's free. I can sign up. Um, I think uh, I think it should be set. Hit the sign up button here. Come on. Yeah. So you know it has all this stuff. And then here is actually this here. They have a, so so this is what I'm actually interested in. I assume though. I don't know what TuneCore's take is though. All right, make mine YouTube, but do they? Uh, here's the thing, do they? I think it's, see, it says here, oh, I think it does say, let's see. Collect revenue on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Yeah, I only care about the majors. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's talks, uh, YouTube, right here. Wait, what, when you give users, when you give users a two of the most popular social media platforms, person you use are selling their upload content, you can earn revenue from it. Okay, so I am getting revenue from this. Looks like they don't do the others, because Identify was also pretty good with uh, all the other platforms. That seems to be what they specialize in. Um, like, the, like, say, Vimeo and, I don't know, other sites like it. We're just starting out. But, I mean, to be honest, I think this will be fine. Just, just go with the majors, right? Um... Hmm. I don't know how TikTok's doing in copyright, but I eventually, I'm pretty sure they'll eventually do TikTok too. Ah, uh, let's see, songwriter. Yeah, because believe it or not, if my shit actually get, does get pretty good, I do want that revenue from from this stuff. People can use it, right? But I'm just gonna claim the monetization. But if you want to monetize, I mean, you can monetize it. I, it's a little hard because when people people are confusing. You can still monetize the video, just put your affiliate links or promote your shit through whatever you're saying, right? Just uh, just go through by my, or sign up to my Patreon or whatever, right? I, I don't mind if you, right? I just want the, 
hey, I just want to make sure people know that song came from me or my company or my video game. And you give my company or me credit, right? Or, you know, or, and the recording artists, right? Because I don't want people going, hey, I made this song when I actually made it. And then I get it really fucking angry, right? You know, that's that's when I would actually consider, like, if I could do it, I would. I would actually have cops fucking go to your house and have you arrested, right? Because it's the exact equivalent of you coming to my house and stealing my shit, right? Then I get mad, all right? You know, so. But aside from that, yeah, go ahead and use it, right? Just just know who the big, who's the big alpha male, who's the real big boss, right? Uh, and I'm pretty friendly about it, too, because most other people that do, like, monetization, they don't even let you put affiliate links. I will let you do that. I don't give a shit. I, in fact, I encourage you to put affiliate links and shit. So, like, I'm totally cool with it. Right? It's just like, hey, make sure I get my fair share, right? So, but, you know, again, I'm the only... I seem to be the only good person in the world that's, like, doing this shit. It's like, it would be nice if... And I'm not even, like, you know, the best, for sure, right? Certainly not in God's eyes. But he's probably pretty cool with me, too. At least, I think so. So, um... Yeah, it's like more people should do that. It's like it would help all of us so much more. So, all right, you know, just uh, then I'll do it, right? You know. So anyway, it looks like markets are actually doing all right. Uh, yeah, because I'm because we're looking at these headlines. I don't really Trump is right that rich guys sometimes bet against the stock market, but here's a fuller. Yeah, I mean they're just shorting. I mean some are going to be evil and deliberately tank the markets. But others need to protect their downside too. So. Like if you if you have like a one billion with a B dollars in the stock market, you're gonna be buying a lot of put options because you need to protect yourself, especially if you're managing other people's funds, which include retirement accounts, mom and pop stores, and their retirement accounts and shit like that. You got a lot of people depending on you. So, uh, so not every so not everybody is an evil rich asshole. There's definitely lots of rich evil assholes, but not everyone's like that. JFC coin doing very, very well, seven and nine. In fact, there was like some crazy trade value. I don't want to look at it, but it was a lot of money. Uh, 404 coin continues to do okay. It's at two to three. I mean, at this point, we're just waiting on the swap news. So that's what's happening. Um, let me see. I wish they put commas here. 826.2 million. God, 404 coin has grown so much. Uh, I'm still going to try to talk with Mitch because I really don't want to do swaps every few years, right? Because for now, we're just going to go with, you know, flat 404% APR instead of the lowering of the APR because Mitch was running into a lot of problems trying to implement that with the pure coin and black coin code. So, you know, we're just going to have to roll it over over the years. And by then, you know, something will come up probably. So hopefully we'll have that because swaps are so annoying. Um, Two by two will still be okay for at least a couple of years. So we don't have to worry about so this probably will not get a swap for a while. And then James C of coin, of course, we're gonna do a swap for this after 404. But it's gonna be flat 200 percent APR. So we'll just be like platinum bar coin, except vastly superior. And then we won't have to swap that coin for a long time. Right? Because all these swaps are annoying. But you know, we obviously do it because we have to. Uh, two by two coin went as high as like 125 or something. I mean, it goes off the chart, and then now it's down to 887 to 100. I don't know what's happened. I don't care. It's like this is fantastic. Uh, so somebody bought a lot of shit. Um, like we definitely saw like a lot of money coming into from Bitcoin into the altcoins. So that, that's what pretty much what happened. Uh, but that's just just a taste, a small taste of what is to come. So uh, you know it's a. Uh, just get your hand rubbing greed, greed, uh, greed glands going. All right, you know it's uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good, all right? And the reopenings continue. Everything's getting better, fundamentally. So uh, as long as people don't go, to, as long as people don't break and start panicking, that's the only thing that's left to screw us in the ass, without our consent. Uh, one uh, forty nine sixteen to fifty. 500 satoshis of a dog coin so compound coin's been very steady uh nothing new here um my crypto track to smash bitcoin will we charge our straight first cyber crime after uh what what is this up? Oh, okay so basically she was committing a crime and used bitcoin that's like oh, i'm not gonna read that 
All right, so this is kind of a good sign. I just see a bunch of nonsense on the headline. So that basically, no, essentially no news is good news or nonsense news is good news. Uh, Bitcoin bears because they're retarded. I mean, even Tony Bays isn't uh, attacking Bitcoin anymore. All right, he's, he's like the biggest bear F word there is. Bitcoin's historic highly white crypto expert expect uh, Bitcoin, but the uh, level or uh, the Bitcoin price surge to force it is uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, my initial when I made my video on my, that's pinned to my YouTube, I also didn't realize that it was going to my old channel. I didn't even include the new URL for my shit. So yeah, I made sure I changed to go to JFC Radio. Yeah, I said 500k. That was the peak. That's based on the info. But now I think it's actually going to be a million. I honestly cannot go back in time and change it, and I'm not going to. I hate to do it, but basically I just want to farm the fame and whatever. It's like, oh my god, you correctly predicted it, all that bullshit. And it's like, oh, you must be a genius. And it's like, yeah, I am a genius, but I don't need to, I don't like having to use these stupid tricks to prove that, right? You know, and it's going to be a while before I become rich like Warren Buffett or Donald Trump. So, you know, what am I going to do in the meantime? Coinbase CEO read its new crypto pride's huge deal for the industry. 515. Uh, we already went over that yesterday, so I don't care. Uh, crypto ties turning for institutional. Actually, I kind of like this picture, actually. This is really not, I don't know if we'll read it, but I like the picture. Burst of 100K. Uh, actually, we do want to read that because I do want to know what the rich people are finally doing. Because so far, they haven't done anything yet. Because most of this is due to normal people. Uh, crypto power, Samsung races, world's 5G spot. Oh boy, yeah, 5G. Uh, data shows Bitcoin howling spark, Bitcoin revenue plunge. It shut down for us, crypto market rallies. Yeah, that's what always happens. So it's like the there's an adjustment. Uh, Binance freezes crypto funds. Office fight forever. Wow, I actually want to read this. Because I want to actually, because obviously I'm going to be running my own technology and software company, right? Video games and entertainment. A lot of it can be done online. 50 to 49. I actually do want to read that. That's important to me personally, right? Because one day, you know, you're going to see me. Like, I'm going to be up there. And it's like, oh, my God, you're so famous now, right? It's like, you know, you'll see my movies and shit and theater, the advertising. Right, but the year you're gonna be, but then if you've been with me last night, you're like, yeah, I remember when Johnson was just, or Jason is my actual preferred name, right, my nickname. He's like, yeah, yeah, I remember when Jason was still just doing his shitty YouTube videos, which he still does, you know, in, in his home, and I loved it, right? You know, it's like, that's how that's the American dream, you know, shitty. I didn't even feel like wearing my usual shirts. I just want, I just know that I wore the orange shirt yesterday and I clean it, right? It's in the it's in the pail bucket in the bathroom, and then you know my yellow shirt. And it's, it's like, yeah, I I like these simple, humble, shitty videos. But thank you for Fox and Friends covering Supreme. Oh, blah blah. blah. Um, uh, what? God, thirty seven seconds. Hold on. Hurry up. And by the way, we've already given, we've given the largest tax cut in history. If we weren't so strong as a country, we wouldn't even exist right now. We built an incredible machine. It was a beautiful thing to watch. It was, I even said, three months ago, I was with a group of people. I say, can you believe this? Every single military is almost complete now. All right. I've heard, I've heard that like a million times. Uh, I was thinking if he was talking about the uh, stimulus thing or whatever. Who told Obama? It's about Thai, Fox News, Media, Russia. <clears throat> Critics turn up on Robert special account. Well, yeah, now that's safe to get rid of Mueller. You know, it's like, yeah. Uh, NSA on that, literally personally attacking journalists. Oh, yeah, I remember when this happened and everyone's like, Donald Trump's making fun of disabled people. And I was like, I didn't know he was a disabled reporter. I just know he was an asshole reporter. That's why I made fun of him. <laughs> oh, God. There will never be a time like 2015, 2016 Donald Trump. Uh, oh, the glory days. Where is 302? Okay, so he's just basically complaining about Obama. All right, so I don't really care. Uh, hey, was that Roddy Gadurski? Hey, three, 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 Claudier. Wow, is a disaster for Democrats. Wow, so Roddy Gadurski actually gets a free retweet. 
Uh, I don't know how. Uh, he's actually he's actually a very well connected guy. Um. Oh yeah, I don't want to mention the asshole's name just in case, but yeah, before I had a fallout with that asshole, uh, he actually referred me to this guy. I still actually have Ryan's number, but there's no point in me calling because what am I gonna do? Uh, but uh, he's actually a very well connected guy, and I think this is the guy that actually does stuff. You know, so let's see. So we we'll retweet that. See, here's the thing. I was even considering unfollowing him for some reason, and then I just kept thinking to myself, you're becoming what you hate. Don't be like the F word that you don't like, because that's what he would do. It's like, oh, yeah, what am I doing there? Also, he's never done anything to me, so, like, why? It was weird, because I was looking through... Oh, yeah, it says... It tells... Oh, yeah, shoot. It says right here, followed by, you know, all these people, right? And I see Nick follows him, and then Ryan follows Nick. So I'm like... And then for some reason, that triggered me for some reason a little bit. It's like, I still don't know why. It's like, okay, I better just put the brakes. You know, it's JLP, Jesse Lee Pierce, let's say. Maybe it's Satan talking to me. So if that's the case, just going to do what I do in investing. Just don't do anything. In which case, obviously, I'm still... It's like, anyway, and he does really good reporting, too. So, so Mike, so why is that just that? Yeah, I'm like, really, like, is California 25 usually Democrat? This is a Clinton plus six district, and right now Republicans are up by 11. Yeah, so here's the thing. Where are all the liberals that are pissed off about the shutdown? Are they pissed off about the shutdown? This is this is actually... Uh, interesting data. This was retweeted by Donald Trump. Uh, this was, oh yeah, I don't even know who that other guy was, but I, he looked pretty important, right? Because, again, it's that stupid high follower count, low unfollow, uh, high followers count, very low following count. So, you know, it's like that ratio. And I hate that so much. I hate it, but you have to do it. And I just hate that. I just hate it so much because it basically discourages people from just being nice to each other. It's like, yeah. This was retweeted by Grill Donald Trump, and I personally wondered where were all the liberals that hated the shutdowns. I guess now I know where they went. Voting buys, at least. Right, very cool. Uh, oh yeah, I guess we could farm. Let's do that. The reason why I do that is because people on my Twitter timeline will see the retweet quote, but they won't see the reply. So that's why I got to do both. It's it's very annoying. Well, Garcia grew his lead. Uh, did did think it was possible. I think does he maybe me? I did not think it was possible, but he grew his lead by a shitload. Holy shit! Whoa. He won a Republican won Los Angeles by pretty comfortable margin, I might say. Holy shit. Wow. You mean it's actually possible a, de a bunch of Democrats and liberals to fucking vote Republican? Are you serious? What? I mean, I guess. I mean, I know conservatives are pissed about the shutdown, but we're, again, we're all the liberals. The problem is, all I see is, you know, fucking Twitter spam with all the angry fucking left-wing assholes attacking Trump. Wow. Wow. Yeah, hey. A pig just flew by my window. <laughs> what can I say? All right. Blah, 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 blah. All right, very good, very good. Well, good, good for right, good for right. All right, let's see if there's anything new with reopenings. Uh, this is actually, yeah, I looked at this yesterday. So New York is on track. So and then you got the chart here. Oh, New York City's at four of seven. All right, where are we at? Twenty nine minutes. How the fuck is it twenty nine minutes already? Ugh, oh well. 
Twitter and police get off that office life forever. Goodbye. The police and Twitter got the official order too. They never have to return to the office. The company's Jack Dorsey explained that working from home long after coronavirus being handled will be permanent. Twitter is one of the first big tech quickly promoted the radical shift to staying and working at home. Yeah, it's actually better too because it's actually uh, easier for everyone. And the amount of time that you waste going back and forth in terms of commuting, uh, that actually results in the loss of at least 30 to tw uh, 60 minutes. All right. So, radical shift. Uh, in early March, the company told employees to skip the off while they do work for to make the transition function efficient with the coronavirus response. Such a good event. Also, can I can order to more teams to work remotely? The company has roughly 5,100 employees and an estimated 1,000 in San Francisco. It's got a Mayan inspired headquarters. Mine's going to be like Japanese pagoda, Chinese pagoda, and like, you know, something from American colonial inspired architecture or European or something. The company has roughly 5,100 employees on an estimated 1,000 based. Eh, de -de 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 -de. Twitter plans to reopen their offices when they deem it safe. Looking employees who wish to return, but probably not before some entire time remains uncertain. De -de 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 -de. Yeah, I mean, as long as people are still outputting, like, for example, all the, like, when I commission music and graphics, all of that's digital. I don't have to fucking meet these people. I don't even know what they look like, with the exception of the music composer guy on Fiverr. Right? But he put his picture there as a sample of his work. So, so uh, <clears throat> has no plans to conduct any in-person company conferences for the rest of 2020. All right, I don't need to read this quote. Jessica, whatever her name is, former VP at Twitter, co-founder of Investment. I expect many tech companies will follow for software. Remote work is here to stay. Yeah, it's also naturally very easy because everything's already remote. All right, you just simply go to the office to do remote work. The only difference is now you go home to do remote work. But either way, you're doing remote work. <laughs> Since random suffers is more than double the average decade, don't have data in an office. Okay, data from the US Census Bureau shows that five counties they all go to the total of 35, 500, including births and blah, 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 and everyone's going to Texas. Yeah, that's why Texas is going to turn blue too. Pandemic is a car, I'll do normal, I'll play. Okay, very good, very good. All right, very cool. I'll just be a nice little byline. We're, done, we're probably just going to use this as a thumbnail just because. Uh, let's see, Anthony, uh, in an interview with Yahoo Finance, the longer Bitcoin continues to thrive, improving its serious pretty good to mind, where people take yards of a rocket rise in the last decade. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, well, we kind of already know that, so it's okay. I thought he had something very specific. <clears throat> now I should do some more again, and all we're seeing is two separate groups of people, some have done the work and not getting exposure. So, some of you see, like Paul Deere come and says he's got one to two percent. Okay, he's worried about inflation giving all the put. And the second way, you got a list of institutional investors that are sitting there saying, Look, we're still like asset allocation, and this thing seems, yeah, overall, it's been, uh, it's been improved my sharp ratio. It have to be, to be, to be. So, he's not wavering over his pretty big positive to it. I guess we'll could have grind up for the next 18 years, and I do expect it to be the best for this crisis. I'm on record saying, as I think Bitcoin will hit 100,000. By 2021, which is obviously more than 10x increase in a relatively short period of time in the traditional financial world. Well, I mean, Bitcoin was 1200, it skyrocketed to 20k. So, in this case, uh, let's see, 20k to 100,000 over 18 months, that's only a 5x increase from the high over 18 months. That's way too low. Shit, maybe 500,000 was the correct uh, call. I don't know. There's just so much shit. I mean, we just have to see how 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 strong it's gonna go. I mean, first Trump, Donald Trump has to win re-election because if he loses re-election, that's actually gonna be a fundamental shift in everything. And that's, gonna, and that's just gonna like completely throw everything off. Uh, but assuming Trump does win re-election, and so far he's looking pretty good. Where? We... Where? Yeah, it's so far it's looking pretty good. And then once the debates, I mean, here's the thing: I don't even know if we're gonna have presidential debates. Actually, we kind of will, maybe at least one or two, which will benefit Joe Biden. Funny enough, yeah, Joe is just gonna like just plummet, right? I mean, how can a liberal actually fucking vote for this guy? It's like you're voting for someone who's actually brain dead, right? Like, I'm not saying an insulting man. He actually is brain dead. Joe is just like, like he's struggling to maintain a coherent set of sentences and look coherent. Right? I mean, it's going to happen when he's on the debate stage. He's going to... What if he collapses on the debate stage? It was like, what are you going to do then? So, 
And I don't think uh, Andrew Cuomo is still two, three cents. So I guess he's really adamant. I'm not running for fucking president. I mean, it probably makes sense because one, he wants to make sure New York's taken care of, which I appreciate, obviously. Uh, and number two, um, he knows he can't beat Trump anyway. But what he could do is maybe win in 2024. Right. He'll give up the advantage of not getting his name out there. But on the other hand, he's already governor of New York. So that's already a pretty big fundamental base. So he might as well just play it safe and just not run. Just let these idiots, uh, you know, do this thing here. Right. The Democrat Party really had a chance with Bernie Sanders. But, you know, they, they decided, just, you know, you know what? We can't have an actual socialist like Bernie. So we'll just hand down Trump the win and then we'll just keep our uh, liberals, uh, you know, uh, at bay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue uh, <clears throat> growing this channel. All right, so I'm done for the week. Today is Friday. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your day or night. I will see you all uh, on Monday, unless of course something significant happens. And then, uh, yeah, you know, it's out there. You know, the four four coin swap info, tentative. But I don't really see this changing, right? I mean, pretty much we're just testing everything, so I think this will be right. We initially wanted one million. Now it's down to four hundred four. And the reason why we're lowering it is because the A price is going to be fixed to four hundred four percent. So I mean, we're going to have to do probably another swap in a few years. Hopefully by then we can have better code and we'll be able to implement an APR step down so we don't have to keep you know doing this shit um so yeah but you know what I'm all right with it I mean we're gonna make a lot of money with this so you know and all of you will I mean assuming you're not any of the idiots fucking complaining here like seriously how the fuck do you lose money on 808 coin I literally told you step by step every day I even reveal how much money I was actually making like thousands of dollars a day it's like Fucking retard. That's literally the only word. So, whatever. Anyway, see you all Monday. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Yeah, I mean, so far, everything looks fine. So, I guess today was actually a non news day, which is good, right? So, it just means it's probably just panic, right? And panics eventually stop, right? People eventually get calm. That's what we want. Because I don't know about you. But I'm sick of this, all right? I want things to go back to normal so I can start making money, all right? And you'll be start making more money too, because when people make money, they're eventually going to start buying up crypto, all right? And that's what we want. It's what I want. And this is our very nice-looking thumbnail.